Hi, this is a Baya from Lucky Sheep. I'm on a five night camping trip. I just started, uh, I spent my first night at Campground 36 in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And I'm right next to the creek over there. And um, on this trip, I am experimenting with some new things and I'm trying to get to a point where I can go on a camping trip and it, it actually restores me and rejuvenates me instead of de depleting and making me uh, re uh, recuperate when I get back. So I want to I want to be I want to feel like I'm on a camping trip and I'm actually recuperating from my life. I'm out here to enjoy myself and restore my energy and renew my my mind and spirit and and um and I found in the past that I've I usually um like don't feel that great on a camping trip and don't enjoy it that much. I mean I like nature and being out there but it like it doesn't necessarily feel good all the time and <clears throat> and um and it in a lot of times it kind of turns into a survival trip because I'm pushing myself beyond my limits and my body has to recover from that so um, I thought I've been thinking about you know technique and <clears throat> diet and supplements and bringing superfoods and supplements that would possibly um, make it make it so I kept my energy up and I I could hike better and and um, and get the restore rejuvenation that I want so um, so on this trip I made a mistake because as usual I left a little late and and I was pushing it to get to the campsite in time before dark so I had to walk really fast with a heavy pack starting out and um, it was so my pack was 35 pounds I was leaving at about six, six o'clock and it was gonna I had about two hours before dark and I had to hike five miles so I calculated that was about approximately two and a half miles per hour I needed to walk uphill a, it was a slight uphill at about two and a half miles per hour like consistently without breaks or because even a, even ten minutes could put me in the dark I get to the campground in the dark I, I would it would be really hard to find a place to pitch the tent and to hang my food on the uh, the, the little hook things that they have to keep your food 10 feet high in the air away from the bears so um, so because of that I did I did like really really push my body to the limit to the edge and thank God I I had everything else right I, I had prepared very well um, I had brought superfoods and super supplements and um, I uh, the first thing is as the food was that uh, pemmican instead of carbohydrate based meals I was going to bring pemmican which is a Native American um, food it's it's basically dried and pulverized meat mixed with lard um, and you can also put other things like berries or nuts in it um, and then it's very concentrated and nutrient dense and it has just you know a lot of vitamins and minerals and um, takes no cooking and um, so I brought that and I also brought for starting out I also brought um, some some raw fresh cow's milk from a local farm um, I filled up my water bottles with with raw milk and I, I stopped by the health food store and I bought some cheap raw cheese and raw butter three pounds of raw well one and a half pounds of raw butter and um, also honey which is cool because I got this little silicone honey uh, carrier and it doesn't leak it's just an amazing way to bring honey and um, like Let's see. Oh, and then I also brought all the supplements. Like I also practiced the copper, 
Copper uh, Revolution protocol, um, which is remineralizing the body in the in the right way, with uh, in a way that was discovered very recently, and and that's been amazing. I've been doing the Copper Revolution protocol for a year and a half now, and um, so you know I thought, well, why don't I continue everything instead of compromising, going camping, and bringing only the the minimalist things that don't really keep your body going. Why don't I bring everything I'm already doing at home and keep doing it? So, um, so I brought all these supplements, um, zinc and uh, selenium and copper and uh, a couple of other things in there, and um, and also uh, um, let's see. And also I stopped by health food store and I bought some. Um, medicinal mushrooms. So I also got chaga, reishi, and lion's mane. And so um, between all of these herbs, uh, superfoods, super herbs, and, and super medicinal mushrooms, and super minerals, I mean, you know, let's. I'm excited to see what's going to happen here. So. It ended up that I got to the camp really late. It was just pretty much like I, I knew it was going to happen, right on the edge of dark. I had just enough time to pitch my tent before it was completely dark. And um, I had to scramble and find a place and uh, get everything out and organized. And, and gosh, I found a great place right next to the creek. There was only two other campers in this whole campsite. and. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, not too far from the place where you hang the um, hang the bear bag in the air, just um, over that little bank there. Um, so anyway, um, I I definitely stressed my body out. Um, my muscles were sore. I was, I was extremely uh, kind of fatigued. But um, one of the things I did was I, I took a cold soak in the creek, and that, that was a big help too. And, um, and uh, I, was, I, I felt pretty good about how, how all the foods worked. I also was able to bring uh, uh, some fresh, raw hamburger, um, grass-fed. I had some of that. Um, for supper because you know you, you could bring it on the first day but of course it's not going to keep after that so that's why the pemmican is coming in handy um, so I'm trying out these new ideas I've never put all of these things together before I've been doing little by little um, some of them but not only you know did I bring my lucky ship gear with a with the open air tarp that soaks in the negative ions that are just coming right off the creek and uh, I, I brought my Lucky Sheep sleeping bag and brought my Lucky Sheep sleeping bag and uh, and uh, all, all, all organic all natural fiber clothing merino base layer I'll talk about the clothing later. I'm I, right now. I'm just talking about the 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 kind of food philosophy and and how to how to keep my energy um, good to to re keep uh, don't deplete my glycogen reserves and minerals and and my ATP production to keep to keep my metabolism going well and my mitochondria happy. So. Um, so what I'm having for breakfast is um, the uh, basically it's kind of like a blueberry muffin with with a milk <laughs> because it's pumpkin, but 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 it's um, got blueberries in it, a blueberry powder. It looks kind of like a muffin, and it it with my little imagination I can really make it into a muffin. And um, then the other thing is uh, some. I put some of the raw milk, uh, the raw milk, and I put some of the medicinal mushrooms in in there. And so, um, 
so I feel like I feel like it took me a lot of recovering through the night as I was sleeping. I got up and ate two times uh, as my since my glycogen reserves had been depleted. It's important to uh, get food in you after that because otherwise your your body is going into a kind of a state of shock as it's trying to re rebuild from all that exertion and. Um, and then when when you, when that happens, often a person can't sleep. That's often why a person has insomnia on a camping trip is because their body doesn't have enough energy to sleep. It takes energy to sleep. So you give it what it needs, and it can actually rebuild and and uh, help you to go into a, a nice deep sleep. So um, that is that's uh, a little sum up of of the how this trip is going so far.